All right, welcome back to Hot Topics TV, y'all. If you've never been here before, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into the topic. First of all, right, let me say, Offset is already denying that he and Quavo had a physical altercation backstage at the Grammys before Quavo went on stage to do his takeoff tribute. I don't know if you've seen the Grammys, but you know what I mean? It went like that. Quavo went on stage, tore it down, did a tribute to the late takeoff and memory off, and it was a lot of wet eyes in the house. It was a lot of people watching from home who felt, you know what I mean, it was a tearjerker, put it that way. But rumor has it that the two family members, Slash group members because they used to be a part of Migos and now Takeoff is gone. Offset looks like he's off on his own doing his own thing and Quavo is left to be a single solo artist. Seems like they had an altercation backstage. Now I know. I know there's a lot going on right now. Especially since the whole Jay Prince interview on Million Dollars Worth of Game with... Gilly and Rollo. But we'll talk about that on another video. Because that one right there. That's just a whole lot of shit to unpack. That's a whole lot of shit to unpack. But we're not getting into that. Right now we're getting into this. Offset denies. That he and Quavo had a physical altercation. Backstage at the Grammys. Before takeoff tribute. Listen. <clears throat> first of all right. Let me clear my. Let me clear my throat. <coughs> <clears throat> Offset went on Twitter And he said He didn't get in no physical altercation Matter of fact he said Word for word What TF look like Fighting my brother Y'all Niggas Is crazy N-I-G-G-A-S Niggas What TF TF meaning The fuck What the fuck look like Fighting my brother. Y'all niggas is crazy. That's what he published on February 6th, 2023. Headline says Migos, rappers, Quavo, and Offset still aren't on the best terms. They're still beefing with each other. I don't know for what. Is this over money? Because they got... Crazy M's. Takeoff passed away and left about 25 M's. That's $25 million. Now, according to TMZ, okay, see, this right here, let me tell you something. If you know how this game roll, right? Shout out to TMZ. If it's one thing about TMZ, I learned over the years. TMZ has a group of lawyers in it. TMZ is also spearheaded by an attorney. TMZ has links and hookups in the judicial system. They also have them links and hookups that gives them their inside information within the entertainment industry as well. According to TMZ, anytime you see some shit that says according to TMZ, it was true. It went just like that because TMZ is not going to risk their credibility risk being sued and accused of slander or accused of character defamation or anything else by putting out false information on anybody so tmz gets the scoop y'all follow me okay according to tmz the rappers got into a physical altercation backstage at this year's grammy awards the outlet, which is TMZ, reported that a fight broke out before Quavo took the stage to pay tribute to their fallen bandmate and their relative, Takeoff, who died November of 2022 after being fatally shot in Texas. Y'all remember that birthday party that was held in a bowling alley, some gambling was going on, some argument was going on some feuding 
was going on. A lot of people were saying, damn, if I was any of the members of the Migos with as much money and as much fame as they have, I would only be seen gambling at a casino with high rollers with my security by my side. There's certain things you have to stop doing once you get to a certain level in life. You got to stop going to the hood and rolling dice with hood niggas. Once you get your money and your fame that far up. See, it's one thing to come up with a bag. It's another thing to have multiple bags and have a whole lot of big bags. We talking about millions, 10, 15, 20 million, 25 mil to your name and more and the potential to make more. You know, we talked about that for a while, but that's how Takeoff lost his life in that situation. We won't rehash the whole situation. We trying to focus on this here right now of these two, Quavo and Offset, getting into a fight with Offset denying it ever happened. The post, Offset denies he and Quavo had a physical altercation backstage at the Grammys before Takeoff Tribute appeared first on... Blavity. Y'all can go check out Blavity. Now, insiders told TMZ that the Grammys asked Offset to be a part of the tribute. Listen to this. Because I'm wondering what the hell they fighting about. This supposed to be a tribute to Take, right? Now, Takeoff, I think Takeoff would appreciate it to see them two together. To see Offset and Quavo together doing a tribute to him. Insiders told TMZ that the Grammys asked Offset. Offset is the one that is married to Cardi B, for y'all who don't know. Quavo is the one that was with Takeoff when he died. According to TMZ, the Grammys had asked Offset, Cardi B's husband, to be a part of the tribute. But Quavo wasn't having that. And Quavo blocked Offset from participating according to what i'm hearing it was right when quavo was about to take the stage offset thought he was gonna go up there and be a part of the show and quavo blocked him from entering the stage nope don't want you on this resulting in the two of them coming to blows before being separated People had to physically get in there and separate them too. Allegedly. Now following the altercation. Quavo took the stage to perform his song. Without you. A, 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 a very good tribute I might add. He goes up there at the Grammys to perform without you. During the ceremonies in memoriam segment in memoriam segment that's a segment where they pay tribute to somebody that was great in the entertainment industry that died etc etc now fans were really emotional on social media you know fans i'm crying i'm holding my head right now oh my god seeing quavo holding takeoff's chain just broke me i'm hurt i know he hurt even worse whatever just the fact that he came out and said, and we heard that Cardi B was also backstage. There's another news outlet. Don't quote me on this one, though, because it didn't say TMZ said, but there's another news outlet out there that said Cardi B is seen on video on uh, somebody's camera footage from a cell phone. And she was cussing at both of them. She was cussing at Quavo and she was cussing at Offset. Her husband and she was saying shit like y'all shut the fuck up and y'all ain't even supposed to be getting into nothing and blah 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 so it wasn't a good look and then cardi b had to take the stage because she had to present an award as well so it was a whole messed up mixed up scene you feel me now there's a lot of comments under this sean says man this is a senseless death Nothing good happens at 3 a.m. with people drinking, gambling, holding firearms. Hmm. Y'all stay safe, y'all. Sean sound like what my grandmama sound like, because that's what she used to tell us. 
Ain't nobody out in these streets after certain hours. It's only, you know what I'm saying, on scrupulous people, drug dealers and hoes, and the police is out here, and thieves are out here as well. You choose which one you are. Well, damn it, I know I wasn't no police officer, and I sure as hell wasn't no hoe, so I'm not a thief, and I guess I ain't no one of them unscrupulous ninjas out here anyways you know the pimps for the hoes and gangsters out here getting it in late night stuff i wasn't any of those so i stayed my ass in the house now make it happen says quavo should be more emotional if the story is true his argument actually led to the shooting of takeoff he should be more remorseful he should be more respectful because it was because of him why Takeoff lost his life. Now listen. I was wondering how Quavo was going to be taking this. To have lived your whole life. Come up with somebody. That was so close to you. And you were related by blood. If you listen to the tribute. He ends that tribute by, by saying. Take I'm sorry. 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 Take I'm sorry. He's talking to Takeoff. He keeps saying, take, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. And he also said in the tribute that it's hard to feel mama's love now that you're not here no more. You know, takeoffs, it's hard to feel mama's love now that you're not here no more. You got to understand the dynamics within their family. Quavo's mama, right, is takeoffs grandmother. Y'all understand that? Quavo and his sister have the same mama. That same sister is Takeoff's mother. Y'all get that? So, Grandma probably mad as hell at Quavo for being himself. Because you know a lot of people been saying it, that Quavo is not what you see on TV like... All calm, cool, and collected in the circle and around the way. He is the mouthpiece. He is the disrespectful one. He is the one that, you know, gets shit started. And I, I'm, you, I mean, if you go back and look at the video, the night that Takeoff got shot, it was Quavo that was the mouthpiece in there. And right after Quavo says something about, hey man, come on, let's leave or let's bounce. If I'm going to have to fuck somebody up in here or something like that. I guess them gangsters in Texas said, fuck who up? In where? Like what? Who are you talking to? What you think because you part of the Migos and you got a few million dollars and some fame, you gonna come around here and son anybody, boy? And it went down. It could be that. But y'all know that there's more to this, right? Now, this is all speculation. Because you know how people talk all the time about Illuminati this and secret societies that. And I asked them, I say, have you ever been in a secret society or have you ever been inside of the Illuminati? Did anybody invite you to any of their meetings? Do you know what they do? Etc. Etc. Do you know any of their rituals step by step? Do you know anybody that is a long seated member of that society? And everybody always says no, but they claim to know what the hell happens inside of it. So <laughs> with that said. Take this right here with a grain of salt, okay? I don't want nobody coming back to sue me. It was said that once Cardi B's husband, Offset, left the group. I ain't fucking with the Migos shit no more. He said, I'm off doing my own thing. It left Takeoff and Quavo. And Quavo had big dreams. Of being a international superstar solo artist. But according to contracts. And according to how this rap shit is set up. They are known to be a group. It's Takeoff and Quavo. And they are the Migos. No way you can get rid of that. And the Migos is always going to be bigger. Than you as a solo artist. Unless hmm, the unthinkable happens. What is the unthinkable happens? One of your members die. Well, we don't have to worry about offset because he left. 
he over there chilling with Cardi B. They making babies and they doing music and they doing their own thing and they living a glamorous life and a beautiful life. Seeing a smile on his face all the time makes me smile because I remember him when he was stage diving to punch a motherfucker in the face and getting locked up all the time and all that to see how he has changed his life. I know that brother is going to have some longevity in the game. See, the, the, the goal is not just to get rich. The goal is to get rich and then be around to enjoy it for a long time and then be around to raise your children rich and then be around long enough to situate your children, educate your children and pass on this wealth to them, not just get rich young and die. And leave a couple of young kids misguided. Somebody's going to have to steal some of this money and lie to the children. And, you know, they're going to have to grow up to figure out what the hell we got going on here. Um, I ain't really know my daddy like that. Uh, he died when I was eight and stuff like that, you know. But anyways, back to this talk about Quavo wanting a solo career. It was said that you're never going to be as big as the Migos. And he was bent on being a solo artist. Remember I said take this with a grain of salt now. So. He sacrificed. That's the word. Sacrificed takeoff. A lot of people are going to say man cut the, cut the bullshit. Why are you saying that? Remember I told y'all take it with a grain of salt. I never said it was factual. I said that's one of the talks that were out there. But. In this world that we live in today, where people are so greedy, they got a taste of fame. They want all the fame in the world. They're not satisfied with the mouthful that they got. They want all the fame in the world. They got a taste of getting millions of dollars. They want all the millions of dollars in the world. They want to get to the billions now. You know what I'm saying? It's a matter of a human condition called greed. Gluttony. That type of shit. So I'm sitting over here looking at this. Watch how I tie this in. I'm sitting over here looking at this and I'm thinking, damn, this is a tribute at the Grammys. By the way, I was worried about Quavo. I was like, when is he going to be able to come out and sing again, rap again in front of a crowd? Because everybody who paid attention to this got it in the back of their mind like you are responsible for Quavo's demise so how is he handling it knowing that he is responsible so to come out on a big stage like the grammys i was like yes he's gonna get back to somewhat of a normal life right i mean we can't bring back the dead man we the most we can do is try to live better but from what i'm hearing quavo ain't in no good space and he's definitely not living better so this tribute to see him block offset from taking the stage with him. Somebody said, listen, that was his dream coming through right there. As sad as it might be, it was his dream coming through. His dream was to be that solo artist. Well, take off is gone. He uh, quit, uh, not take. Yes, take off is gone. So he don't want Offset on the stage to dull his moment so people still looking at him like this looks like the Migos again with one member missing. No, he wants this to be a Quavo moment. This is a tribute to Takeoff that he wrote himself for Takeoff. I want to do this myself. This is my moment. And that's what that fight backstage was about. It was about trying to steal my moment that I done sacrificed so much for. Now, if this is true, damn, that's cold. But we live in a cold, cold world, my friend. Cold world. So I don't put anything past anybody. But I don't believe that it's so. Bo says, it's nothing like fighting to honor someone who got shot and died. 
and you wonder why the other guy was killed. Too many of these new young rappers want to be around bad things. And they have such a bad influence on the kids who want to be rappers but need to become factory workers or teachers or doctors or engineers. Just because they are famous or rich does not mean that they should get a pass for being around negative elements or being bad elements themselves. Celebrity worship has been made so much worse with these wanna keep it real rappers. Annette said the tribute that Quavo did to take off. It was very heart moving. I loved it, but I'm praying that Quavo and take off sit down. It's not Quavo and take off. Yes, it's Quavo and take off. Um, not Quavo and take off It's Quavo and offset. You're praying that Quavo and Offset sit down and talk because blood is thicker than water. And I'm praying that they find peace and come together and find comfort within each other. May Allah bless them and keep them safe always. Inshallah. Mercury Lady said, It's that same hostile environment that got them killed. Ain't nobody doing no better. They out here doing the same thing. Tom T says, and the media made it sound as if this group was so peaceful and the shooting was completely random. Hmm. George says, according to the details behind the death, Quavo was the one in the argument that led to the shooting. This is more like guilt than a tribute to me. See what I'm saying? A lot of people think that. Let me read one more comment for you. B says, if you do not create lyrics that hold you to a standard of being an adult, you will not act like one. The music is incredibly violent and misogynistic, so it's hard to become a person that acts outside of that realm of thought. I'm not condemning all hip-hop and rap music. I'm just talking about the music that keeps young men stuck in a cycle that they cannot escape. There are plenty of hip-hop artists or rap musicians who who do not carry themselves that way and you rarely ever hear of them getting involved in nonsense. Let's talk about Yasin Bey. Let's talk about Common. Let's talk about Talib Kweli and others like those. Well, hear what? Sad to say, but today's generation ain't no great number of today's generation listening to these artists that you just mentioned. Those are golden artists from yesterday. So grown people will listen to that grown people hip hop. Anyways, it ain't neither here nor there to each his own, man. Whatever you want to listen to, go ahead and listen to that. If it gravitates with your spirit, that's what you on. Hear what? Leave your comments in the comment section below and stay tuned because I'm about to cover what happened with that whole interview on million dollars worth of game with Jay Prince sending words to take off and take off sending shots back. It's not safe out here. Summer 2023 about to be hot off the Richter. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video though. Hit that subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.